It's interesting how a lack of self-confidence hinders the best of us from maximizing our potential. If I asked you now, uh, what is that one thing that you always wanted to do? You might know what that is, but you just haven't been able to do it because you don't believe that you can actually achieve it as a result of a lack of self-confidence. If you could just believe in yourself more, you can accomplish a whole lot more. So in this video, I'll be talking about easy ways to boost your self-confidence. You don't have to do anything extraordinary. These are easy everyday life things. My name is Chris and you are welcome to my channel. The first tip on how to boost your self-confidence is to stop second-guessing yourself. Okay, you want to do something, you know you really want to do that thing, but you keep, you keep asking yourself, can I do it? Can I do it? No, maybe I can't. Maybe, maybe I'm not good enough to do this thing. You need to drop that mentality, okay? If you second guess yourself, there's a very high chance that you are going to come across as someone who isn't confident in themselves. And that's because it will show, it will be written all over you. People can see it from a distance. If you doubt yourself on the inside, it is going to reflect on the outside. To stop second guessing yourself, you need to believe that whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve. It doesn't matter how difficult it might seem. It doesn't matter how impossible it might look on the surface, okay? If you believe that you can do it, you most likely can. Worst case scenario, you won't be able to accomplish it, but then you wouldn't have, you know, been such a disservice to yourself from the very beginning because if you second guess yourself, even before you embark on that journey, there's a high chance that the outcome won't be good because you would be shooting yourself in the foot. So stop second guessing yourself, believe that you can do it and just do it. If you don't succeed, you can always try again. You can do it if others have done it why can't you if others were able to do it why can't you and the thing is there are very there are very few things in the world that haven't been done already so that one idea that you have that goal that you have you just need to look it up to see um others who have done it and if they have done it there's a very high chance that you too can even if no one else has done it you might as well be the first person to do it. Yes, you could, you know, blaze the trail in that area. After all, there's only the first person to do something. The second tip on how to stop second guessing yourself is to groom yourself, okay? Dress properly, look good. It's amazing how looking good could make such a difference in one's confidence. You see, uh, ultimately, people would address you based on how you are dressed. You know, there's an old saying that uh, you, you are addressed how you are dressed, right? And in many ways it is true, okay? If you appear confident, if you appear confident, uh, you are going to feel confidence. It would exude from, from your inside. People can, can see it, okay? If you dress properly, you dress really good, you automatically feel better about yourself. When you walk into the room, there's a high chance that people are going to be looking at you because they love what they see, because they love, you know, your, your presence. But if you're not properly dressed, you can feel it even before you step out of your doors. You can feel that something is missing. And as a result of that, you wouldn't have the, the confidence, you know, the, the courage to express yourself, to be free and out going okay so you'd be surprised at how much just taking good care of yourself would boost your self-confidence because when you do that you automatically feel good about yourself and when you feel good about yourself whatever you say would come from a place of positivity the way you will talk the way you carry yourself would reflect that positivity so put some effort into grooming yourself 
into your wardrobe if you need a change of wardrobe you might as well just go get it okay because i tell you what it would affect your confidence positively the third tip on how to boost your self-confidence easily is to speak slowly okay speaking slowly can take your confidence from zero to a hundred yes that's right when you speak slowly people are eager to hear the next things you have to say when you speak slowly you speak from a place of authority just imagine a leader talking a, a person in, in in a position of power talking they take their time and that's because they know that no matter how slow they speak whoever is listening to them would keep listening but when someone feels like they're not good enough to be in in the position they are to be talking there's a tendency for them to speak really fast because they can't believe that people or anyone is even listening to them in the first place so if you really want to improve your your self-confidence you want to boost your self-confidence consider speaking slowly when you speak slowly you articulate your thoughts better your words flow better the things you say sound more reasonable because you are taking your time when you speak slowly people you know pay more attention to you they can see that you know exactly what you are you are saying they can see that you know that what you are saying is worth listening to if you speak so fast there's a very high chance that you will mumble your words there's a high chance that you will say things without properly thinking them through and you might just end up not making so much sense so speak slowly if you really want to boost your self-confidence you can start it right away you don't have to wait until tomorrow you can start it with the next person you speak to just take your time you know pick your words think things through before saying them and you'll be amazed how much your confidence would improve. The fourth tip on how to boost your self-confidence easily is to build and maintain good posture. You see, the way you sit, the way you walk, the way you move has a great impact on your self-confidence. It might sound so little, so trivial, but trust me, it does the way you sit for instance if, if you sit down your shoulders slouched your your head uh looking downwards come on you are expressing a lack of confidence when someone takes one look at you they can tell that that person isn't confident but when you, when you sit down you know your shoulders squared looking straight up you know your eyes on on the object of attention you exude self-confidence just by the way you position yourself and when you walk it also matters you know don't slouch your shoulders don't look downwards look straight forward okay square your shoulders and walk confidently like you know where you're going all right good posture matters it impacts your self-confidence in ways you can't even imagine when you're meeting someone for the first time the way you, you maintain your posture tells them so much about you it tells them whether or not you are a confident person and the minute some people sense that you're not confident they could take advantage of that yes they could but when they meet you and you're, you're, you're positioned properly your posture is good your shoulders are squared you're not looking down words they can tell that this person isn't one to mess with and they're going to they are going to give you the respect you deserve another way to boost your self-confidence easily is to acquire knowledge most of the time when we engage in conversations with others if we're not so knowledgeable about the subject it shines through and our lack of knowledge could make us come across as not so confident because how can you be confident about something you know nothing about? You might just end up doing uh, so much listening, not contributing to the conversation. And if unfortunately you're asked a question that you have to answer, you might just end up saying the dumbest thing and that could take a toll on your self-confidence. So to avoid that, 
you might just want to acquire knowledge ahead of time yes you 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 don't have to you know start reading up everything there is no 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 but if you have engagement you have you know to go somewhere you might just want to do a little bit of research to know the sort of uh, things that would be discussed at that that place that occasion and prepare you know read ahead of time so you will have things to contribute uh, to the conversation so that you would not be clueless and have to just keep quiet while others do the talking okay prepare yourself read articles thank god for the internet you can you can learn as much as you want from the comfort of your home all you have to do is go online and search for for the topics you want to learn about having information to give to contribute to conversations boost your self-confidence greatly because when you talk people can see that you know what you're talking about you you give valuable information compared to when you know nothing about the subject and you just look on like someone who has no idea because really you have no idea and the last thing you want to do is give false information just because you want to contribute that would end up making you look really really bad that's it easy ways to boost your self-confidence the way you dress is very important when you dress well you feel well and people can see that it reflects in the way you walk and talk speak slowly don't feel the need to rush don't feel the need to hurry up if they really want to hear what you have to say they would wait for you to say what it is you are saying don't feel the need to rush because uh, people are in a hurry no you are worth the time my name is chris once again and it was nice talking to you in this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification so you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video see you in the next one